Hey traders, I'm going to be focusing today on gold. I know some of you guys have been asking for a gold update. So I'm just going to give you a bit of an update on what I'm seeing across the gold market. I'm going to start with the, start with the shorter time frame and then we're going to build that out to where I see things ultimately going. So let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Hey traders, I'm running a webinar today and I'm gonna be teaching you my number one trading system that I've been trading for majority of my trading career. Plus I'm gonna share with you the three secrets that I use to go from $250,000 in debt to making a full-time income. Very first thing in the description, guys, click on that, join me for my next free webinar, and I'll see you there. Alrighty, traders, so let's have a look at what's been going on with gold. So the absolute short term, let me, let, actually, let me start all over again. The reason why I haven't done many gold and silver and mining stocks updates as of late is because there is nothing to really talk about when it comes to what these markets are doing. It's just been pretty much just choppy, just sideways. I could talk about all the fundamental reasons and all that sort of stuff that's going on in the markets, but really on a short-term basis, nothing has really changed. On a short-term basis, we've just been getting absolutely just nothing in, in gold. Gold has just been not doing much at all when it comes to gold here. So you can see gold, um, it had a bit of a rally up, then we sort of flattened out a bit, then we started to make our way back down again, as you can see, back down, back down, and sort of holding through here. So on a short-term basis, guys, gold is still right now stuck in this overall massive, massive overall triangle pattern. As you can see, we've got this squeezing of a pattern that's come through here, and I could even draw it through there somewhere, right? connect that up just a little bit more, maybe even through there if you wanted to. Um, but you can see how that this just has been squeezing and squeezing and squeezing up into the markets right now into uh, uh, in, in, into the stronger pattern. That tells me, yes, we are about to break to, we are about to break. I believe it's going to be to the upside. We have to wait and see. We could actually get a break to the downside. Um, and if so, then we're probably going to get a lot more downside to come out of that. So it's going to be really interesting to see where this breaks when it comes to this short-term technical and this short-term analysis when it comes to gold, right? So gold's really been doing nothing these days. The big thing about gold that's really important to understand if you're involved with gold is that it's not a fast mover. Now, as of late, it hasn't been a fast mover. Once we start to get going again, once we start to see some nice trending movement again, and it will happen, that's when we're probably likely to start to see some really, 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 really good moves out of it. And I believe that's going to be to the upside. So on a short-term basis, we're just stuck in this overall triangle pattern, not much going on. But the exciting thing that I'm looking at when it comes to the big picture on gold, and what I'm seeing from a technical analysis point of view, on a fundamental level, guys, if you look at the fundamentals of gold, I see gold being a very, very, very big play in the markets. In fact, if you actually look at cycles, if you actually look through history, every decade, the pro every decade, something does good, right? <laughs> so, what the, the whole the whole purpose of this right the, the the start of this decade right the start of this the, this decade is probably going to be really good for commodity prices uh metals miners and so on and so forth because if you just look at the way cycles work through history right like we have last decade wasn't really good for commodities metals miners what was it really good for it was pretty much good for equities. Now, it's still good for equities right now. If you've been watching my markets, you know that I'm all over that, like a fat kid loves cake. Or leave a comment below, guys. Or like what? <laughs> what, what, do you like to get, what do you like to say? Uh, or as much as Johnny loves pizza. I, I just love my pizza. Thankfully, 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 I've learned how to make a really low carb, low calorie pizza. And I have pretty much most days to this day. Um, if And that's like, you know, it's like instead of two and a half, three thousand calories, it's only about six hundred calories. So, um, if I didn't, if I didn't know how to make that, I'd be like a fat little kid. 
but I'm not. Um, so, so what's looking out through here? But if we have a look at the 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 big picture, as it before, I do see overall investments. If people are looking for good investments opportunities, uh, I don't believe it's already in the crypto market because crypto is already hot. And the the best time, if you're actually looking at, let me let me bring this up through here. Okay, so the best time to be looking at some some uh, uh, investments is the opposite to what a lot of people think, right? So the best time, let me actually bring this up through to, let me just bring this, all right, so I'm gonna bring, all right, it's gonna be the war sheet cheat sheet. War sheet cheat sheet, where are you, war sheet cheat sheet? Uh, there we go, okay, so here we go, all right, so I'm just, let me just bring, let me bring this up for you here. Right? So I really want you to, and this is the reason why I personally really think gold and the mining stocks, especially the mining stocks, are an incredible, incredible time to be investing, but you must, must be patient. Not one or two weeks, maybe not even a year. I believe that over time we're about to see. But if you ever look at, and the best thing about where we are in the Wall Street, T Street, you'll be able to see where we're at. So if, if I, all right, let me just bring this up through to here, okay? So if I look at this, this the, the cycles of this whole movement, all right? So we have disbelief, hope, optimism, belief, through all euphoria. When we, just, just to overlay this template to whatever market you are trading. And traders, if you wanna be good investors, right? This is where, it's hard for an individual and it took me a long time. I've been trading the markets for 17 years now myself. And it took me a long time to figure out that what does buy low, sell high actually mean? Now, we know that, right? Buy low, sell high. But people don't like buying low because they're afraid of getting in the markets. And then, but when the market's running hot, that's when they want to get in, right? But then what are they doing? They're buying high. So if we overlay this template of any market out there, all right, if you have a look at the, if you have a look at say the cryptos, cryptos are definitely in this in this region, I would believe. You know, you've got the thrill, you've got the euphoria, you've got things just going crazy again, right? So you've got that real big move again. Um, that's where I see the crypto market. If we overlay this from a stock market perspective, where would you say? I would have to say that there's not even hope. We're actually down here at disbelief. Like there's no optimism in the stock market. Stock market's like, no, it's gonna crash. No, it's gonna crash. If you're getting that in the environment, guess what? It's probably a pretty good time to buy, right? Um, if we have a look at, um, if we have a look at, uh, uh, let's see, if we have a look at say, say gold itself, I would have to say gold, Maybe gold is in the disbelief, like this is a sucker rally. I'd have to say that this 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 right here is actually pretty much prob probably even the stock market. Um, I, I reckon the stock market's right here, right? They're just like, no, this is a sucker rally. This, they, they, they can't believe this, it's still rallying, right? So this is probably where the stock market is right now. Um, but if you look at that, and we bring this back over here for a minute, uh, how do I minimize this? Can I minimize this? Uh, all right, yeah, so you can see if I go back over here to the disbelief, yeah. Disbelief, disbelief, this is a sucker rally, disbelief, so this is disbelief over here, right? So if I have a look at where gold is right now and I look at the sentiment, the sentiment of where most people are at when it comes to the gold market itself, uh, maybe it's, I reckon a lot of people are getting into the anger phase because uh, where would you say it is 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 traders? I, I know, I, I maybe anger or maybe into the depression where my retirement money is lost. Maybe it's through this section through here that I see gold. We're definitely not in the panic phase. We're definitely sort of maybe in this phase through here. We're not in the hope phase. So if I go back to here, I would have to say that we're probably down here somewhere when it comes to when, when there's not even hope. There's, there's, there's definitely no hope when it comes to gold. So 
There's no optimism. There's no belief. There's nothing like that with gold. So if we're looking at, um, you know, good long-term buy and holds, at least for a good few years, right? Two, three, four years. If we're looking at that time frame, then this is a really good, this is a really good sort of template to look at. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm seeing through there. And this is the reason why I really like gold as an investment because it's just un just putting some of your portfolio or some money into positions of where we are at. You want to buy down here, you know, down through to here. You want to buy down this belief. And that's the reason why the stock market right now, I'm still very, very bullish. Because I even did a video today based on another indicator why the stock market is probably going to rally. And someone come out and said, John, you're an idiot. You don't understand. The CPI, <laughs> the CPI data is going to come out. The Fed's going to blah, 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 right? They come out and they said the stock market's going to crash still. There's still no hope. There's just disbelief. And that's why I see so much upside uh, in, the, in the stock market. The crypto market, on the other hand, is like up here. This is like belief through, yeah, here we go, right? Everyone's about the crypto market. So the crypto market is definitely in this region up through here, I would say. Um, it's definitely, there's definitely a, a lot of shake. Maybe, maybe we're starting to get into the, to the complacency um, region because crypto has been pretty crazy over the last, uh, pretty much this year from like what's basically like 10,000 up to 60,000 and then down to 30,000 and back up to 60,000 then back down to 30,000. <laughs> it's like crazy, crazy, crazy. So if we're looking at the gold price or if you look at any investment, right? Look at any investment. This is where guys, Please understand that if you're taken based off, uh, yeah, just, just look at that. That's the reason why I like gold for a long-term investment. I'd rather have my money in a gold position right now than property right now. I know I know people people that love property, but to me, I would prefer to have that. Um, you know, if you look at other markets, like right now, where this, this these, these, these prices down here, what else is actually happening? These prices down here. Um, if we have a look at other markets, say China, where is China right now? Uh, again, guys, this is not what you think. I don't give a shit what you think. It's about what is actually happening. Is there euphoria in the market or is there depression in the market? Because if you look back over time, every single time there's been depression, 2008, you know, when the whole Lehman Brothers collapsed, that was September, October, November, 2008. What happened to the stock market 2009, 10, 11? Hmm. Interesting, right? So, so just guys, please, it's not, it's not what you think. It's what, how the markets work and the, the truth are in the markets, right? Just look back over history. So I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to help you guys make a lot of money. So if you have a look at China market, you know, if you have a look at say, maybe like Evergrande, you know, Evergrande, I must say Evergrande may not make it out of it, but if it does, then that's going to be, you know, if you have a small portion of your portfolio, maybe put a couple percent risk on your account. And that couple percent risk on your account, if it does go to zero, well, you just had, you just, you're, you're, you're down a couple percent, but if it does take off, your account could be up 20, 30% just based off that one thing. Um, that's the reason why I like Barber, Alibaba, right? Because Alibaba, I believe, is getting into the capitulation phase right now because it's just been absolutely just getting crashed. So when it comes to, which this what's what this video is all about, is gold and gold prices, right? And the cycle of things. So you must understand where are you in the market? Are you buying low and selling high? Or are you getting involved because of because everyone else is getting involved? Um, and when we start to look at the big long-term charts, such as the weekly charts, and even like the monthly charts, you start to see that we're still developing a beautiful sort of uh, basing out sort of uh, pattern through here. It doesn't mean we're definitely gonna go, we're definitely gonna break out, but the key level is that if we do start to break out of this sort of triangle pattern, we start to break to the upside, that tells me that we're now likely to be spending this low rally up, coming back down and having a basing pattern again through here. And then if we do, once we do start to break out like there, that tells me that now I have a three, a 3,000 3, target on gold, which I believe is likely to come. So this is where I believe what's happening with gold right now um, and, and why I'm such a big believer in it. The only thing, guys, is that if you look at the day by day, it's one of those things that you're in it for two or three months and it does nothing. 
just like Bitcoin, right? Just like Bitcoin did. Um, people, people are so involved with the crypto market because it's gone crazy. This is the wrong time to be getting involved with the crypto market. The best time to be getting a crypto market was when I was doing nothing for a couple of years and then enjoying what's happening right now.